We are launching a new series here at King 5. It's called Cultivating Culture. It will shine a light on the rich black culture throughout Western Washington. Our team will highlight black innovators who are creating more spaces for community. Here's what you can expect next week. Can y'all let me know where y'all be at? I don't see y'all. I never found issue finding people like me. Um, and then I get to Seattle. It was shock and um, it, I think it took a while to get used to it. It's a question for many black people who moved to Washington. The latest census shows the black population only stands at 4.5%. With such a small percentage, how can one find community? Every time we met somebody that was pretty cool, you know, they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here soon. Like, yeah. like, I did my time here. The Emerald City is unique compared to other large cities across the U.S. For many, it's hard to find black culture. We would think growing up in a predominantly white town, this shouldn't affect us, but it actually really did affect us. Like it was, it was definitely different. We sat down with therapist and author Ashley McGirt on what missing community can do to your sense of well-being. It has a huge impact if you feel like there's no community spaces, no one that you can talk to. Um, it's going to lead to kind of a isolation that you don't want. The transition to Western Washington can be a culture shock. Several groups are pushing past that feeling of isolation, paving the way and creating more spaces for community. As a people, I think it's what we innately crave. Expanding on the rich culture that has been here for decades. I am born and raised here in Seattle, and I want you to know that there is a black community here. And the community that is here is strong, Absolutely. and so yeah. that's why we're small but mighty. In our new series, Cultivating Culture, we talk with pioneers throughout Western Washington. From creators. I started DJing. I don't know why that was the solution in my head. To change makers. It's not just a feeling of safety and acceptance. It's all pure black ownership. And meet your neighbors, say neighbor. And everything yeah, in between. We want to make sure that whoever finds our community can live their fullest life in Seattle. Cultivating Culture kicks off Monday on King 5. You can expect a story every day next week to highlight the different change makers throughout Western Washington. So it's going to be a really a powerful series because one thing that went into this, the our producer King here at King 5, her name mm -hmm. is Brittany and I, we yeah. were just talking about our transitions here to Western Washington. She's from Louisiana, I'm from South Carolina. And back in February, we were just discussing our struggles to find community when we initially arrived here. And then yeah. we started talking about all of the amazing people here from transplants to people who are from Western Washington who are really just cultivating the culture. So that kinds of, <laughs> kind of plays off nice the name. name. Yeah. And I'm sure with both of you doing this series, you must have felt so empowered by meeting some of these people who are making a difference and you're, you're finding community yourself and culture yourself, right? Exactly. And some of the people featured are actually some of the people I reached out to when I got here and that helped make me have a community here yeah. so it'll be really interesting and exciting for everyone to just hear their stories yeah. and how for some of them instead of complaining about what they felt the area didn't mm -hmm. have they were like you know what I'm gonna we're go gonna out do something about and I'm it. gonna make it that's yeah. great that's great such a vibrant community excited to learn more thanks Shantae, thanks, Shantae. every day next week right now